What's up Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars 6 inch The Black Series action figure review. This time we've got Lando Calrissian in his skiff guard disguise. I haven't taken him out of the box yet, what you're seeing right here is the box, the figure in an unopened box. I will open it shortly um, and we'll get a good look at it. But uh, yeah, for once I'm going to get the box in the video. Um, I do tend to chuck them out sometimes before I get on with the review, but Gregory Tice artwork on the front there looks good. I'm not sure that he's, uh, if you find him on Instagram, he sometimes posts his artwork and talks a little bit about them and the creative process, so I look forward to hearing about that. I'm not sure if he has yet, but uh, here's number 76. And on the back, we get a little bit of a bio. Yeah. Once a smooth-talking smuggler, Lando Calrissian changed from a get-rich-quick schemer to a selfless leader in the fight against the Empire. When his old friend Han was held captive in the Palace of Jabba the Hutt, Lando joined the Princess, joined Princess Leia in a mission to rescue him from certain demise. So, uh, yeah, looking, I've been looking forward to this one. He looks good. All right, let's crack him open and have a look. All right, here he is. Uh, this is a pretty sweet-looking figure. I'm really a big fan of this Lando. Um, I, I, I don't know, there's part of me that wishes we could have gotten General Lando with his cape. I think he looks very regal and awesome. But I imagine we'll start getting into some Return of the Jedi, more, fig, more Return of the Jedi figures soon. So hopefully we see that iteration of Lando as well. Uh, this is the third div, third Lando in the Black series that we've had. So you know, three's a nice number to sit on for a little while. But uh, yeah, this is a this is a really sweet figure, and I really dig this outfit. Um, there's been some great three and three quarter inch figures of this in recent years. Uh, we saw the deleted scene Sandstorm version of Lando. Uh, it was probably 2011, I think, um, when the Blu-rays came out. Uh, that was a really sweet figure. Um, there's been a, there's been a couple others that have been reason, reasonable looking but without the articulation, but that one's a standout. So if you're looking for a good three and three quarter inch, the vintage collection is the way where to go for that one. Um, it's got all sorts of accessories. But this one, he comes with his skiff pike, force pike, uh, sort of blade, stun blade. And there's a little bit of weathering on that blade. You can sort of see some sort of light silver scratch marks and some bit of sheen down the uh, edge of that blade there on both sides. It's a little bit of wear and tear. A little bit of bronzing would have looked nice, but uh, it's okay. Looks good. We've got his helmet. Really nice looking helmet. Sort of leathery skin look on the top there. Looks great. Sort of studs in the in the in the metal around there and the across the top sort of bones on the front there really nice stuff so there's the accessories let's get a look at the figure let's get a close-up of Lando look at that he's got a bit of a ticked off look to him he looks great I'm really digging this figure it looks really good. A little bit of, little bit of silver paint there on his lip. It must have just come off of. I don't know. That shouldn't be too much of a problem to get rid of. There's always bound to be a slight defect in these. They are mass produced in their thousands, and probably tens of thousands. So you're bound to get a blemish every now and then. That's fine. I really like the armor plating. That looks really good. Um, you know, I was just talking about like that sort of leather look on the top of the helmet, and they've sort of done, I don't know what they've done with it. That's just that mold sort of makes it look all banged up steel. Um, that looks fantastic. Really nice colored too. It looks really good. And there's some great weathering on this sort of skirt bit here that's wrapped around. Um, Fortunately, it doesn't really follow through into there. There would have been a little bit, bit of weathering in there. Would have been a bit nice throughout the shirt. Well, that sort of singlet underneath. That's okay. That looks great, though. I'm really liking that. 
around the back as well. Just dirty, dirty leather look. Looks good. Sort of long black undershirt, sort of pretty, pretty clean. Looks good. The creases are nice. The creases in the mold are really nicely done. Pretty standard white pants. Looking there, some boots. Do like the little silver buckles on the on the boots there. These sort of straps up around the knee look good too. Would have liked to send the straps across the top of boots a little bit of a different colour, but that's okay. On the back. This is a good figure guys, this is a really good one. I'm not sure whether to display him with this helmet on, I think I will, because uh, that looks good. Here we have it, Lando, Return of the Jedi, Skift Guard Disguise. He's sweet. I'm really, really digging this figure a lot. If you can't tell. Articulation-wise, he's got the ball-jointed head, the ball-jointed neck at the bottom of the neck and the top. So you get some good, good range of motion there. Ball-jointed in the shoulders. And I like. I'm just realising now that these shoulder pads are really soft plastic that they've tacked onto the sleeve. But they've remained that soft so you don't there's no getting in the way and those straps are just malleable plastic which so they bend really nicely well done on that one hasbro that's fantastic i wouldn't have i wouldn't have picked that i thought it was all part of the mold um until i moved it well done that is awesome uh hinge in the elbows um and i like what they've done here with the molding in the sleeve um you can you can barely see that like it's really nicely done It stands out a little bit more on the back, but just in terms of where those joints are sitting. Um, yeah, really nice range of movement too. They're really nailing it. Without having to go down the double joint, they've uh, almost go, go, bending back on itself. Uh, he's got a pretty good joint there. That's, that's, that moves a lot. Ball hinge in the hips, swivel cuts at the thighs, double joints in the knees. Again, like I'm saying, the, the moulds... The, uh, that are hiding these joints are, are really good. Doing a really good job of them lately. And then ball joints at the ankles, ball hinges at the ankles. So, absolute standout figure. Um, this could be a top 10 one for me. Um, I'm not sure yet. I've got some thinking to do. But uh, stay tuned for that one. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do just a top 10 video or whether I'll make it a podcast episode and, and take a little bit of time to talk about what I like about each figure, um, which that could be fun to do. So I may end up doing that. Um, stay tuned uh, to my social media and stuff. Um, go and follow me at The Force with Jesse on Instagram, uh, facebook.com forward slash The Forces with Jesse. And uh, yeah, you can just follow along there and I'll be sure to let everyone know when those videos hit. So let me know what you think of this figure in the comments below. That would be awesome. We'll have a bit of a chat. And uh, we'll be back with a new video very, very soon. So until then, may the force be with you guys.